what are your plans to secure the security and integrity of the election? And then also, do you think, on record, do you believe that Joe Biden is a legitimately elected president? And why is the answer no? <laughs> Thank you, man. What's your name? Christian. Thank you. Christian. So, so I'm going to answer this in the spirit of one of the earlier questions about national unity. Okay? What you hear turning to MSNBC on a given night concerns the question you just asked. That is a threat to our democracy. You are a threat to our democracy for even asking that question, daring to ask a question, questioning the legitimacy of an election result. Shame on you, racist or whatever you know, the case may go. That's not the way we unite the country. Here's what I say. If that's really a grave concern about belief in the legitimacy of our elections, then I'm willing to do a deal. I'm going to ask all of you to come with me in my willingness and back me up in doing this deal. Because we've got to move forward as a country. One election day. National holiday. Voter ID matched to the voter file. Paper ballots. That's it. But we have to... So, so, so we get those things... If we get that much, now we have to keep our end of the bargain. National unity. We keep our end of the bargain. Get those four things. This should not be controversial. If this is such an important issue and a threat to our democracy, fine, do these four simple things. And then I, for one, will pledge to be done with talking about election integrity as an issue because we can believe in the result of that election. That deal moves us forward as a country. Okay, I, I, You won't hear another complaint from me if we just secure voter ID, same day voting, national holiday, match to the voter file, paper ballots that can be verified. This is how we move a nation forward.